sanctioned by the United Nations, the Global Defense Initiative has one goal, eliminate multinational terrorism in an effort to preserve freedom. Adam here, and welcome to the third Gameplay Review UK Community Craft Challenge. Now this month, I'd ask for people to make an Orca Fighter, or, or an Orca Bomber, or Orca Assault, anything really, any VTOL Orca from the Command & Conquer series. It's, one of the, it's Command & Conquer 3, it's probably the last good game that EA made before everything since then has been quite disappointing by them, so Command & Conquer 3, that's a pretty good game. And for those of you that are keen vision, I've actually got the original top, how cool is that? We're going to run down all the top orcas that were sent to us and we'll, we'll save the best to last this time. Okay, so sit back and relax and enjoy. Somewhere in this section is a Nod base. It's protected against airstrikes by Nod SAM sites. Knock them out so Colonel Morelli can provide air support. Morelli, we got some new toys for you. You've read the classified briefings about Orca and here she is. I need you and Morelli to take a couple of these babies up and put them through the mill. Concentrate on a radius of 50 miles around Trieste, Slovenia, and see what you can scout up. imperative that this mission be completed. Wipe out Nod presence using all available forces. Backup's on the way, but I can't say when it'll get there. You're on point. Give him hell. Delta Sierra Echo to Commander, approaching next objective. This is Greg Burdett, standing in front of what GDI terrorists have left of the St. Olofsky Orphan. Welcome to the big time, Commander. You haven't really arrived until Kane has sicked his media ninjas on you at least once. What crime did Bialystok commit to warrant said carnage? Sources indicate that GDI terrorists were convinced that the simple hamlet was involved in the manufacture and shipping of Tiberium. When will this madness end? Only one General Shepard in his vision of one world order is stopped. This is Greg Burdett, Bialystok. Excellent. Now, do it again in French and German. I want 300 copies made and sent to every TV station in Europe. We have the satellite for another 10 minutes. Is that camera still running? 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you very much if you participated. All of these craft you guys have been sending in really means a lot to me. It's been great fun going through them and testing them out. In the meantime, I've also gone and made my own merch, so uh, check out the merch store. Cheers for watching and see you later. I hope you've enjoyed the first three official Gameplay Review UK challenges. Really these were just warm ups for what's to come. Next year we will reboot the community challenge format. Now I want as many people from the KSP community to participate as possible, but the range of people's strengths vary. Some are good at making planes, some are good, some are good at spacecraft, and others like what's in between. And so, in an attempt to feature as many of them as I can, I've decided to take you on another journey through history, this time focusing on manned flight. We will be starting with the kinds of planes made by the Wright brothers, then move through the world wars, and the space race, and by next Christmas we should be making spacecraft from the near future or a sci-fi universe. So if you're not following us on Discord, now's the time to do so. All of the information needed to participate and have your spacecraft showcased is there. We also have an elite squad of KSP captains, so you know at a glance who is already at KSP Legends. Also, please do consider joining us through Patreon. This channel is taking on a life of its own and needs your support for it to develop properly. In return, you can rest assured more energy can go into making these videos and you can get early access to craft files and other exclusive perks too. Now I said I would leave the best till last and this month there was a clear winner, Scary Terry. Now I liked all of this month's submissions but when I saw Scary Terry's my jaw dropped and it's not the first time Scary Terry has managed to do this so I'll leave you with a couple of his screenshots.